In a magnificent underwater kingdom, where colorful fish swam among swaying sea plants and shimmering corals, lived a young mermaid princess named Ariel. She was the youngest of her sisters, with eyes as blue as the ocean and hair as red as the coral. Ariel was known for her beautiful singing voice and her boundless curiosity about the human world. Ariel lived with her father, King Triton, the ruler of the underwater realm, her grandmother, and her six older sisters. Each sister had her own coral palace, but Ariel's favorite place was her secret grotto, filled with fascinating human artifacts she had collected from shipwrecks. On her 15th birthday, Ariel was finally allowed to swim to the surface. She had heard stories of the world above from her grandmother and was eager to see it for herself. As she broke through the water's surface, she saw the sky for the first time and was mesmerized by its vastness and beauty. That evening, Ariel witnessed a grand celebration on a ship. It was the birthday of Prince Eric, a handsome young man with kind eyes and a warm smile. Ariel watched him from a distance and felt a connection she couldn't explain. Suddenly, a violent storm capsized the ship, and Prince Eric was thrown into the raging sea. Without a thought for her own safety, Ariel dove into the waves and rescued him, bringing him to shore. She sang to him with her enchanting voice, but as he stirred, she quickly returned to the sea. Longing to be with Prince Eric and to experience the human world, Ariel visited Ursula, the sea witch. Ursula offered a deal. She would transform Ariel into a human for three days in exchange for her voice. If Eric kissed her within these days, she would remain human. If not, she would turn back into a mermaid and belong to Ursula. Desperate, Ariel agreed, and Ursula cast her spell. On land, Ariel was found by Prince Eric. Though she couldn't speak, they quickly formed a bond. Eric was enchanted by her grace and kindness, and they spent beautiful days together, exploring his kingdom. However, Ursula, seeing her plan failing, transformed herself into a beautiful woman, using Ariel's voice to bewitch Eric. Just as they were about to be married, Ariel's sea friends, led by Flounder and Sebastian, intervened. They revealed Ursula's deception, and in a dramatic turn of events, Ursula's true form was exposed. Prince Eric, realizing Ariel was the one who had saved him and the one he truly loved, declared his love for her. Witnessing their true love, King Triton, understanding his daughter's longing for a human life, granted Ariel the gift of being human permanently. Ariel and Prince Eric had a magnificent wedding on a ship, attended by both land and sea dwellers. They promised to bridge the worlds of land and sea, bringing harmony and understanding. Ariel visited her underwater family often, and their two worlds lived in peace, united by Ariel's courage and love.